This is like a get-rich-quick scheme for prisoners. Lindsay and Scott. Oh boy. Bye to the house. Try to get it. You see, this what the, the, the girlfriend of Lindsay was saying. Like, if you knew how much money he, ha he has, he might think that you'd want to steal it. And I was like, what did I say? Kind of thing. I said something like, that's not even. It's not like with destiny that she's free to to walk around wherever she wants to walk around, and she can do that because she's with the ankle braces and she's in the house. But I kind of forgot about internet. You know shopping and that's what she's doing and she has big big plans for his house with his money my dream home is around three thousand square feet all stainless steel appliances since like smart homes are a thing now i'm adding that to my dream home list because we have no dressers in our room we have no nightstands well you said you don't even really use dressers you said you use hangers hang things in the closet you see, but one thing I don't get about this couple, because right now, it's not like back in the day when she was in that orange jumper uh, that I think says Arizona on it. You remember back in the day when she first got to the house and everything was messy. Now you're there too. So all this mess, what are you doing about it? Even if you had nothing, even if you were an extreme cheap skate and you just had uh, the clothes, you don't have a suitcase to put it in. You, you can't just fold them and even have them just chilling on the floor if you want to be that interesting. Why are they all over the place? Like you guys are just messy together. It's not just a him thing. You've come to add to the mix. And yes, you are one happy mama because you're just sitting there chilling. I don't know what you're doing. Why is the place looking like that? We have no hangers. A relationship with the girlfriend. Oh, she's not just my friend. I guess you're my boyfriend and I will not have sex with any other man. So they want some kind of triangle thing, but they're the only ones benefiting because they're both gonna do their own thing and then she's gonna come back to Scott. Y'all just wanna bring diseases into this relationship. Like, this is ridiculous. And what are you teaching Miley Grace or whatever your daughter's name is? Like, what are you teaching that little, cute, precious girl? What are you teaching her? How confusing is this gonna be to her? Then she has this one coming in, random, but you're living with this one. Also, if you're also slick and you're up here talking because they end up kissing as well. If you guys are up here talking all this smack about this guy and you guys really want to be together and have your cake and eat it too, literally, then why, why is she not with her? Why is she not with the friend? I don't even know the friend then. Why is she not with a girlfriend? Why is she not living there? So you guys are just gonna, you know, mooch off of Scott's riches a little bit here and there. But at the same time, you guys are gonna have a relationship. And the tan 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 and all these things that come along with the relationship, where are you guys gonna do that exactly? Maybe when Scott has gone to work? Like, this is so disgusting. If this is what you're gonna do, and like they're saying, and we're gonna do this, but he's not gonna have... He's not gonna get a chance to do tan tan with any of with you, but he is gonna do it with me. And da -da 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 -da. basically, y'all just doing it together because y'all making a weird melting pot for sure. And it's not it's not a good idea. But okay. Also, hmm, okay, never mind. Yeah. Wow. Um, I have so many questions. Whatever. Like they're they're saying uh, very matter of fact, but then it's like they can't stand any ten toes because they're still scared to tell Scott. If you're so uh, convinced of this thing and you're so convinced that this is what you should be doing, then why and how? Why is this? Why are you guys sneaking? <laughs> it's not some freaky weirdness like that. This is my girlfriend. You're my boyfriend. I know why you're not. The Scott relationship, like, it's a little concerning because I don't. Know. You are concerning. Oh, Tarabel. No, how? open to the idea of her having a relationship outside of their relationship he's going to be i mean this is where she's trying to make a life so i was i would be a little i'd be a little scared they keep showing this house and i think they keep showing shots of this house to show what a beautiful house it is and now this woman has nothing to complain about and that she's super mad ungrateful <laughs> here comes the kid best day ever so big. I can just, I want to give it up and give her a hug right now. I can't. Really good that 
Lindsay and Brenda both feel comfortable enough with me to have Miley Grace, you know, move in under this roof. What else are they going to do? Quite literally, what else are they going to do? My friend, what else are they going to do? Brenda, the mom is tired. She's been taking care of this girl for four years. She tired. Okay, and this is their, this is their best option. This is like a get rich quick scheme for prisoners. This whole inmate.com and all the other places, allegedly. Um, for prisoners, yeah, they just go there, get somebody on the outside who is, you know, either low down, has no backbone, or just lonely, or yeah, so many things. And then, boom. That's yours. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. <laughs> gives me uh, kind of a sense of purpose again that I uh, certainly lost when my own son uh, died. So, uh, and it's a very good positive feeling. Y'all better not mess this up for Scott because he's already been through a lot. Like this is just, you, you can't actually do this to people. You cannot do this to people. It's it's perfect. Perfect. Scott, he's done a lot for me. He has been working on my room, so I'm very appreciative. Hi, please teach your mom some of that appreciation because she does not care. Like, it is lovely to hear somebody say this. I hope that she gets to tell Scott as well because at least the guy is trying. The house is big, he bought it for them to live in. That is quite serious. This is a trial run. Did she fall back into her old ways? Uh, I'll do everything in my power to keep Molly safe. Stability. My stability, other than me, because I'm not going to be there forever, you know. And, I, and, and if it involves Scott Beck, because he seems like he's ready to be there for her, too. Everything feels right again. It's how it's supposed to be. First day of the rest of anybody's life, regardless of what the future holds. She does not look happy with that. She's like, this is not the first day of my life with you. This is not how things are going to be forever. It's boring. I don't think she's very happy, you guys. I don't think so. I've tried not to really look too far down the road because normally when you make those plans, there's always a wrench that's thrown into it or something. You know, you got to make detours. Concerned that Lindsay will reconnect with um, some of her old friends that may not be a good influence on her. She's already done that and you let her into your house. That's why you need to hint. This is, this is the whole thing. That's why you need to know people before you, you know, you need to know people. That's all I got to say. You need to know people because they did not know each other. And outside in the real world, this is where you would meet her friends and things like that. And you'd be able to vet them like, mm, are they okay? Are they a good influence? Are they a bad influence? But because they're in prison, you'll never meet their friends. This, these relationships are, these relationships are artificial. They're weird. It doesn't work very well unless you get somebody who just kind of had to slip up and other than that, they're friends and everything is, everything is normal. Everything is kumbaya, but most of the time that is not the case. Well, Lindsay deserves a luxury nice car that she wants to drive that fits her personality. So that's... Now she deserves a luxury car that is that fits her personality. See, they, they talk about all these things, I think, to kind of keep them hooked, just to kind of keep them there. That's what I feel like. This is weird. Why would you start talking about it? The woman has an ankle bracelet on. The plan. If it fits her personality, it's gonna be expensive. Even the daughter knows. Even the daughter knows that if it fits her personality, it's gonna be expensive. Even the daughter knows. Everybody knows about her lifestyle and probably Scott too, but you know, they'll keep dishing out the cash until they're they're dry and then who knows what will happen. They got to live in their fantasy, be with a young little bang, and that's about it. Madness, madness love. Anyway, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump stomp and zoom on that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while I share it. I'll see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. Not only love after lockup, I got other videos too, so stick around for the ride. In the meantime, make time for a glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.